Well, the towers didn't actually fall. They didn't fall like they say that they fell. What actually happened was there's thermite paint inside, inside the building. Spider-Man. Yay. I need help with doing a push-up. This is still going? Yep. <laughs> That's going to be really difficult to do preamble because all the preamble is stuff that we can't talk about. Sexy, podcast. exclusive shit. Sexy GMAT. GMAT's OnlyFans where he just shows pictures of the underside of his tummy. <laughs> <laughs> that Sign bit, me up. That bit that smells like behind your ear when you don't scrub to it enough. It doesn't. <laughs> the underside of my tummy doesn't smell like that. Who knows what the underside of their tummy smells like? Well, you just like rub it and you go, okay, it smells like skin. You rub it and you go, no, and it smells have, like skin. Have you never? I don't do it with the underside of my tummy because it's always clean. That's like the first thing I do when I'm in the shower. But have you ever been like, I don't know if you do this, but sometimes I forget literally like a child, I forget to scrub behind my ears. And I'll go like a few days and be like, I don't scrub behind my ears in the shower. And you go and you go, that's a bit stinky. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing? Scratch behind your ear right now and smell your finger and tell me it's not stinky. I just got out of the gym and didn't have time to shower. Ah, excuses. Stinky ears. Stinky ears. Stinky ears. <clears throat> so podcast is over. <laughs> Shall we jump in? Yeah. Let's just get to it. Let's see. Here, you'll like this one. This one, this one I'll give you two. Are All you right, fucking friends. high right now, Ellie? I'm trying to do stuff. Down. Thank you. I don't have headphones. They're right there. All the way down there. All the way down there. I, I wish I could tell you in, in words how loud that was. <laughs> yeah, that's the one. All right, Ben. Yeah. You'll like, in particular, played, played in my headphone. In particular, you'll enjoy this this one. Woo, GMAT! Yay! Hello, and welcome to episode two hundred twenty-eight of the GMAT podcast. Sitting on a cock because I'm gay. Today's episode of the GMAT podcast is brought to you by our merch. Get yourself a GMAT podcast hoodie. Uh, that intro is brought to you by me. Um, originally Aiden was supposed to be here when that played Which would have a queer person in the room And not just Don't make it me laughing at Louis C.K. Oh, <laughs> so, oh Ellie, come on <laughs> Support the show, you guys Patreon.com forward slash the GMAP podcast uh, You get access to extra shit The jazz cast uh, and the post show What's the jazz cast, man? Uh, it's a little extra thing that uh, we do occasionally Where we do long form stuff We talk for a while oh. We don't have any notes That's kind of what we're going to do today Because I don't have any notes Stop the music um, mm-hmm. uh, Yeah um, if you want to, uh, if you want to do that, Patreon.com for such a gmail podcast. I know I said that, and uh, and uh, yeah, that's it. Welcome everybody. Uh, my name is Matt. I'm the host of the GMAP podcast. Um, Ben's here. Hello, Ben J. All right, what is the problem? What do you, do you want to come up here? Come up here. Jesus Louise is with this fucking dog. This is such a fucking slipshot operation. What's that? Just the intro. The fucking dog going ballistic. Yeah. I don't know what to do. I'm not doing this anymore. You're done? Yeah, well, you, I'm done. You really want to quit? I don't want to be hasty, but uh, yeah. Is this a bit? No. Are you really going to? I'm done. I think this is enough. It's like uh, there used to be panache and pizzazz. and pizzazz and sizzle. And now we come in here and we sit down and you go, yeah, the there's Intro is brought by me because no one submitted one. Mm. And um, he, I stopped the music. Um, duh, and then the dog sniffs my dick and then it jumps up on you. And then halfway through a sentence and she scratches your leg. And then we just go around in circles and fucking sign looks good. If but you want it, if you want to quit, say it. I don't want to quit, but I feel like we all need to quit. You're just going to quit. Yeah, let's n- nip it in the bud, you know. <clears throat> All right. Why are we showing up? Ellie's the only one who seems to give a fuck. She doesn't even give a fuck. All she wants to do is like see what that noise was and she yeah, needs right. me to go and see with her. It was a choice between doing the podcast every week and a bit of cheese. <laughs> she would take the cheese. I think we I'd all take, take the, the cheese. I'd take the cheese at this point. Yeah, at this point. 
I don't like this bit because it's gonna act. It, it sounds, makes it seem bad. Yeah, it yeah. makes it seem really bad. And scene. And scene. You know, let's. Well, I don't have any notes, so let's just get straight into the good shit. Okay. Everybody. Um, uh, it is with a heavy heart and a smelly fart. I don't know how to be serious about this, Ben. Because I could feel myself. Isn't this weird? I can feel myself getting peanut butter in my throat. <laughs> I've never heard it said like that. No. The lump in the throat. You've got peanut yeah. butter in your throat. <laughs> That's such an adorable child's way of... <laughs> oh, God, I swore I wouldn't get peanut, peanut butter in my throat. throat. You don't get that peanut butter in your throat? You like those? Lump in your tummy? Cheese voice, is it? Yeah. Cheese voice, a dub. Podcast is ending. I think you said that he was going to do the podcast, and then we went to the podcast. Oh, boy. Ellie. My dog, Ellie, kept coming to stiff my leg. All right, I'm going to put you out. It's time for you to go out, miss. Down, you mean? It, it put you down. Podcast over, dog. How many years has it been? Five? Seven? Um, it might be seven years. It's not seven years. It might be seven years. It could. I mean, anything could be seven years. When's episode one? Um, I believe episode one was... 20, ooh, oh, I don't know. Where, where's my phone? I just, I'm just i sitting on it. No. Oh, there it is. Let me, have a, let me look it up. I'm telling you right now, it is at least five years. I'm pretty sure it's five years too. No, it's more than five. It's at least five. Um, how do I look this up? The GMAP podcast. If I scroll down, it's going to show the publishing date of when it went live on. Here we go. Shoving stuff up my ass, number 17. The 1st of September, 2018. That would have been when you started putting them on Spotify. Um... I'm pretty sure it keeps the original post in because it's the RSS feed that moves over. That's 2018. That's still coming up five years. That would make sense. Okay, I'll go to Anchor then. I'll go to Anchor then, will I, Ben? Yeah. Which is where they were first posted originally. <clears throat> talk amongst yourselves, guys. You're sitting in a car, just, just talk to someone else. Uh, 1st September 2018 was the first time we ever posted. That makes sense. That that really makes sense to me. Okay. Yep. Yep. So, everyone listening at home, there it goes again. Um, what? This the the peanut butter. Immediately. Just let it happen. The GMAT podcast is coming to a close. I've spoken to Ben. That's me. I've spoken to Aiden. Not here. I've spoken to Beck. Also not here. Also not here. Hence, we're ending it. Hence we're ending it. <laughs> well, I mean, it kind of plays into half the, you know, some of the reason and, and all that sort of thing. Um, five long years? Five, almost five years. Five years. Five years. Five years of doing the podcast. Um, so many memories. Old studio, the cap is house. Stop it. Then the small <laughs> flat. And then this studio that we built from the ground up where we went from audio to, to video, video, where it was... Just a weird mishmash of people talking into their phones and Discord to begin with. And then you and I had that episode where we did it on the computer. Mm -hmm. And I was just sitting in my lounge room talking to you through my headset. Mm -hmm. And you're like, this is great. And then Aiden came along and we're like, hey, we got something here. There's some energy. There's some spark. Little did we know, sure. we didn't. <laughs> <laughs> and then five yeah. long years, we got the logo. We got the sign. We're on Spotify. We were ranked. People listened to us for years. Yeah. Thousands and thousands of whatever's in the Spotify rap we looked at last year, mm -hmm. end of last year. I promise you I will cry on the last episode. Okay. Or I might not. I don't know whether I can. It's difficult. It's difficult for it to get going when I'm around you and I don't get know going. why. <laughs> <laughs> That's so fucking rude. I don't know. Do we should play some Pavarotti or something? Yeah. That always gets me going. <laughs> so, um... Yeah. Yeah, there's probably some more stuff. There's... There's probably some more stuff podcast wise coming down the line, coming down the way, but we'll talk yeah, about tube. that. We'll talk about that at the some pike. point. So just know that even though the podcast is ending, there will be other stuff happening. Um, but yeah, I um, uh, I think it was like it was like the fifth week in a row where I couldn't. It was like we're gonna get fucking um, taken down. <laughs> That's beautiful. That's truly beautiful. Five years. Five long years. Big old years. Of us. All doing the podcast together. <laughs> but like life itself, Matt, eventually 
all things must come to an end. And you know what? You did your best. Yeah. Lord, buddy. <laughs> you really... Say you're proud of me. <laughs> okay, you go. Yeah. Well, we had to stop you, though. <laughs> you know, you, you got the sign, you got the cameras, all the trials and tribulations we've been through trying to get this thing to where it is now. It's not going to happen, Ben. It's too... It's too... <laughs> Oh. So right, basically it's, be- it's become a pain in the ass Really Is sort of the thing um, I thought it was a pain in the ass From the start Yeah It's um, uh, planning wise Getting Five everybody Five years too late <laughs> Getting everybody <laughs> in the same room Has become very 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 difficult With changing schedules and everything And the four of us And um, it, like a, a couple months ago We said alright let's make it really relaxed Let's relax it out Whoever can show up can show up Whoever doesn't uh, you know Like a boarding house Yeah and that kind of That, that, that sucked just, It sucked yeah. And I thought it was going to be fine But it sucked Because it wasn't like I knew who I was going to be talking to that week Until like the day before And you know We'd, we'd come in and we'd tell I'd tell a story to Ben And then next week I'd tell the same story to Aiden And be like Wait I already told that I don't know who's to Without us all in the room Or without the team That is the GMAT podcast All together It just started It just started to well, feel Well so it became difficult to manage Seeing as we've become such a, a media empire, yeah. you know, things like uh, mine and Aiden's writers mm-hmm. being such prima donnas with like all of the green room stuff that we need. Obviously, we won't um, be in the same room when filming, so we have to do everything separate and then edit together later or hologram in type stuff. So it became difficult for a lot of the runners and producers to manage behind the Obviously, we've got a team of sort of 40 to 50 people who make things happen behind the scenes, get together all the material that we talk about, prep the green room, makeup, lighting, all that, all this shit that goes into a big production like this. Yeah. And um, as much as it's going to be difficult to fire 40 to 50 people, I'm more than happy to do it. (laughs) Um, I've taken that burden on myself. And, you know, it's something that's got to be done. And the fact that I happen to enjoy it is neither here nor there. I've never seen someone's hand go up quicker. In mm. fact, when I was at the meeting and I said... Well, well you said we're going to have to fire 40 to 50 people and I was rubbing my hands. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. I started cackling. <laughs> yeah. And then I said, who would love... And it was yeah. shut up. And I shoved you out of the way of the microphone and just started reading names. <laughs> Brenda, <laughs> you bitch. <laughs> Come on down. Honestly, I'm just... going to shred her. I'm just sick of splitting the Patreon four ways. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um... So, obviously, if anyone needs 40 to 50 film crew producers, mm-hmm. runners, all that sort of shit, script supervisors, um, be we've home, got yeah, hard home, rubbish. They'll be at Home Depot just yeah. standing at the front. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, yeah, get them while they're hot. Free to good home. Um, so <laughs> this is really difficult because... <laughs> I'm trying to interweave like the fact that it is actually yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> with your bits. I'm trying to do a podcast because that's what <laughs> I've been told to do for five years, and I thought maybe now's the time to start. So uh, yeah, the podcast really, the podcast really is coming to a close. This is not the final episode. We will make sure the final episode is all of us together. Yeah, to just sort of reminisce and uh, and chat about everything and uh, and say a proper farewell. Um, I don't know why I'm smiling. <laughs> I should stop smiling. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking about like. Maybe we're going to have Sienna there for the last <coughs> one seeing she's like a ridiculous super fan. Should. And then I was yeah. like, she might cry. And that made me smile for some reason. <laughs> 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 but I can get evil. Uh, all, right, all right, calm down. So, everybody. yeah. So I, I spoke to you and I spoke to Aiden and I said, uh, are we are we as passionate about this as we used to? And then you said to, to ask you, like, can one of you get in touch with Beck yeah, and let, let her, her know? know. Yeah. There was actually a lot of conversations with Beck leading up to talking to you two as bouncing off Beck was, was the first thing. <laughs> um, and it's not that we aren't passionate about it it's just that we don't have as much time well Aiden in particular you aren't giving enough to the Patreon is what it was that's what Matt said to me is that not enough people are giving enough to the Patreon the people who are giving aren't giving enough and then there's other people who aren't giving at all and need to give way more than that Mm -hmm. and so I'm fucking burning it down yeah we just smashed that sign behind his head (laughs) live (laughs) live (laughs) we're gonna break it into bits and Um, then eat the pieces (laughs) on the new podcast (laughs) (laughs) Aiden in particular has had the hardest time getting into the schedule because uh, um, he's got new things going on, a new job. Like it's just, it's he's got just, his own podcast. He's got his own little. He does podcast. seven days a week. He does do an hour each day. He does do other podcasts. He does like like uh, Mitch the other and one and that Jesse thing. The other thing, one, you know. Um, Don't cross promote. We'll lose listeners. Sorry. Yeah. For the last episode we're going to do next week. Um, and uh, and I spoke to Ben 
and Ben and I have had a me or Benno you okay yep you and I have had an idea in the canon sitting there for a long 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 time but we haven't had the time to do it and when I talked about maybe shelving the podcast we put said podcast up your bum. put right up my bum okay nice one because it's when I say it's cancelling it's like we're, we're gonna stop it and then you know if this channel like you always say to me if this channel ever blows up when when this channel blows when up, when this channel ever blows up we might come back to it down the line, but for now we need to put the brakes on and move on <laughs> to a new we'll project. Is when we finally blow up and have something that's working, we'll stop that and come back to the thing that no one listened to. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, people listen, people listen. We know people listen. do listen. There's a lot you. of listeners and that's the, that's, that's the, that's the saddest part. Um, but on to fresh stuff. Not bigger because there'll probably be less people, but well, that's new- that's invigorating, the, exciting ideas. The ideas that we haven't even fleshed out fully yet. We have like a basic idea and then we want to... We can do like a something. hard right news podcast exactly. where we sort of get into like Pizzagate and I think there's how a, the Clintons are lizards. I think there's a missing uh, uh, market. There's a missing... Now that... Um, uh, uh, Frogsgate, what's his name? Well, damn, well, that's why I'm thinking of doing like a right wing hard thing. Well, the terrorists didn't actually fall. They didn't fall like they say that they fell. What actually happened was there's thermite paint inside inside the building. You look at data from the days before. There's there's testimony from people who came in and said that they were putting explosives around the building. You can see it there. No normal building falls like that. When it falls, it pancakes down like it's been. That's a demolition. You look, that's a demolition. We've got footage of demolitions. We're going to show you right now. So that's what you can look forward to. We're probably doing three hours of that a day. I'm so confused when you. That's going to be hard. On your voice no Three no no that's that. actually how i normally talk i oh, do like a soothing this? thing and let aiden do the annoying voice for five years <laughs> <laughs> that's so mean <laughs> um <laughs> yeah i don't know if i've because i keep getting interrupted with bits <laughs> they're good bits really yeah, good bits yeah. but i don't finally, know finally 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 some someone's bits, on fucking like, fire oh, fuck i should <laughs> squeeze some comedy in right at the end <laughs> yeah five yeah, it's the five years and now you're like it's over i might as well go out with a bang yeah, yeah fucking yeah. doing something you got notes on your phone i bet you fucking do <sighs> oh <Boy>, yeah <laughs> so yeah. five years of notes i just <laughs> never got a chance to read them because we wouldn't shut up i kept forgetting so after pitching to ben shelving the idea that the idea of maybe doing uh something with just the two of us came up and i uh i think it's a great idea because it's easier to organize something just you and I. Two people is far easier to organize than four. And we already had this idea from ages ago that we said <coughs> we would do as a side podcast, but we just I just never found the time. And now that I was starting work with Watch Mojo, I was like, hey, we might have some time to do this thing. And it kind of lined up with us thinking maybe it was time to bring the GMAP podcast to a close. I don't think I've quite landed on in this conversation explaining why the GMAP podcast is, is shutting down. I think you've, you've sort of touched on a whole bunch of the reasons yeah which is the thing is that there's no specific one thing is that there's a whole bunch of little things of like all right because it was no like all right it's done you were like i'm getting the inkling that maybe it's time because it's like the schedules and all this other stuff and we don't really seem to like be bringing stuff to it as much now and i felt like i was dragging you guys in to do the podcast mm. you know um you with a new idea there's something that you're quite passionate about but for this you know you're passionate about broadcast but i still feel like each week, I'm dragging you guys in to not really know what we're going to talk about. That mm. we haven't seen any substantial growth in like a year and a half. It's just sort of we're just doing this while I grow the GMAT channel and hoping that the GMAT channel growing will affect this. And it's a whole yeah, it's yeah, like you said, a whole bunch of things. And uh, at the moment, you said feels like we're just going through the motions. We come in, we do a couple of gags. There's, not to say that there aren't podcasts that we've done in the last... We stumble upon good bits and gags every now and then we'll have a good story, but it's just by pure luck and yeah. the fact that we're fucking incredible broadcasters and improvisers, yeah. not because we're putting our heart and soul into it every time. We certainly aren't putting our heart and soul into it. No. Not at all. And I think when it really started to, um, really started to fall down was when I stopped putting my heart and soul into it. I think so. I, kinda, I, tried, I tried real hard for a while there. Um, and then at some point I just... To be fair though, I think... We all did, sorry. I if we're mean, giving out awards, I'm Mr. Consistency. Yeah, you're always uh, doing nothing. Yeah. <laughs> I brought nothing to it from the start and I've remained consistent for the last five years. Yeah. Never wavering in my efforts. Mm. And it's all three of our faces on here and it's been real difficult to get all three of us in here and it just sort of seems like, what are we doing? Mm. Let's just, let's, let's move on to something new. 
and I think that's sort of the plan. Um, and more than anything, we don't want uh, we don't want people to think that there's Aiden's been kicked out of the podcast. He just has uh, no. We want that to just be something that's known behind the scenes. <laughs> it's, it's just like a, it's a scheduling thing, and um, mm. we you'll... wanted to continue to have a schedule and didn't want him on it. Yeah, <laughs> shut up. Because <laughs> <laughs> uh, the other thing was there was an idea with Beck. So there was the idea with Beck and the idea with you, and mm. I had to make my decision. You know, who do I love more? That's true. And, and then it was like, wait, 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 I'm going back. This all wrong. I just need to know that I love Aiden the least. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> <laughs> uh, <clears throat> I don't know how to what to do with that. Now. Mm? I don't know what to do with that. Just jokes, yeah. just fucking. Hey, what? That's it. Um, okay. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, the problem with this is you've done like three clickbait titles of like, oh, I quit. This is ending. Yeah. And no more podcast and stuff now. So people are gonna be like, he fucking goes again. Wait, what? I'll just name this one. Fuck boy moaning. <laughs> yeah, don't say anything. So the people just call this one Sienna on Suicide Watch. <laughs> <laughs> the end of uh, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, now I said that in this in this in the stream, and plus I was like, hey, uh, just so everyone knows the Jet Podcast is going. People are like, <laughs> lol. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. Did anyone <laughs> buy in at any point? No, eventually they did. I was like, no, no, I really am serious. The Jam Podcast is closing. And then it was uh, a wall of no. I didn't realize people fucking cared about the yeah. Jam Podcast. But well, yeah. this is the thing is that they just listen and it just is like one view. You get no, there's no sense of like one emphatic view, one click on, click off. And there's no comments as well. Yeah, there's that's no true. There's no comments, there's no likes, there's no interaction with the people. It's just, I just see the numbers go and I'm like, I wonder who that is. Yeah. You know? So you have no idea of like, did they love it or are they just kind of clicking through it and that's fine? I mean, Ben and Sienna, we know, a thorough enjoyers of it. Mm. And Kate is pretty thorough enjoyer of it as well, but you just see the numbers. And then when you say on the stream, like, it's really going. Do you reckon it's just because they just like you and they just want as much content as they can from you? Or it's like, just well, I pitched, they're supposed to not want it to go? I pitched, I don't know, because like, like podcast is a different thing and it's another. It's like another piece of content that we make and it's, mm. it's something you enjoy in a particular context. So if they like me and they like you guys and they have that context ready there to go, they'll they'll use it. Mm. Does that make sense? I don't, I don't know. know. Yeah, I think I kind of get what you mean. Um, But uh, when I said it in the stream, I said, and here's the thing. I said this this morning after talking to you. I was like, so the podcast is, is, is most likely over. Then I said most likely because I didn't want to say for sure. Um, and there was like, oh, no. Blah, blah, blah. And then I said, now, here's a question I want to pitch to you guys. If another like thing starts up in podcast form that isn't the same as what we've been doing, that has more of a theme, has more of a like a, sh- a, a, a type of show. It was just like before I even finished sentence, people were like, yes. Mm. Like they, they're coming to listen to us. It doesn't matter if we're doing banter or we're doing an idea, you know, a, a video game review or a, any kind of like thing that we're doing. They're just coming to listen to us. So I imagine if we work it effectively with the people that are listening now for the podcast and we, we you know, pitch it well enough, or maybe we do a couple bonus episodes after the final episode of the Jam podcast of our new idea before we move to a new RSS feed or something. The, uh, I think I think moving the audience over will be pretty easy. Pilot episodes, yeah, like a couple of tests where you and I just sort of get the vibe and try and work out what it is before we launch the thing. Because mm. I've been thinking about RSS feeds and whether we turn the GMAP podcast feed into the feed for a new show or what. And I think the best thing to do is just to start fresh. You reckon? Yeah, I think the audiences are easily transferable. Um, Big call, and maybe just keep the. Uh, YouTube channel is the GMAP podcast channel and change that into the new thing. But ha- for audio, I think it should be a new new feed. Whole new thing. It'll be interesting. I said it'll be interesting. interesting. Yeah. Yeah. But there is a thing, there is bonus episode things that you can do through Anchor where you just say, yeah, here's the thing. If you want to come listen to the show, you know, come mm. over here. Or alternatively, we release the episode on both the episodes, like the first two episodes on the GMAP podcast thing and on a new feed and just say, hey, if you're listening to this on GMAP podcast, when it gets to episode three, it's not going to be in here anymore. Mm. So you've got to come over to the new one. And I think it'll be fairly easily transferable. Plug the Discord, plug everything. Yeah. I think that's the way I want to go because there's no algorithm support for podcasts, even even though we have all these views on... Is there uh, not? I don't believe so, no. But how does Spotify recommend shit to you? Just if you like that type of thing. So it's an algorithm though, isn't it? 
Yeah, but if we start a whole new theme and they're going to be like, do you like three men talking shit or do you like uh, porn reviews or whatever it is that we're going to do? Like, it's going to be a whole different... Yeah, right? Yeah. I don't know. I haven't, I haven't quite landed on the idea, but that's sort of where my head's at. All we need to do is just for the next little while, just let people know that a new thing is happening and then hopefully by the time we get to the final episode, we can uh, let the audience mm. know. Because we're not, we don't need recommendations. We need this audience to move over. And then the recommendations come from the new show. We don't need to recommend to this audience. So you're saying that the GMAT RSS feed back catalog is soiled and dirty. Yeah. And it's going to pollute any potential new blah, blah. Yeah. I, we, I yeah think okay. so. It's disgusting. Mm-hmm. It's filthy. It's covered with dog hair and cum. So much cum. Why did you look around the room and come up with those two? I don't know. Watch your foot. <laughs> it's sitting in cum. Um, oh, and the other thing is, guys, <gasps> there was no episode last week. Wasn't and I'm there? sorry about that. No, was there meant to be one and you just forgot? Well, no, no. I It was 228. It is made. It is recorded. It is edited. You edited. just didn't upload. No. I made the episode. I Here's the thing. Wednesday, Aiden's supposed to come over for the podcast. It gets to like half an hour before the podcast. He says, I can't make it. Nice. And I say, okay, fine. Can we do tomorrow, 11 a.m.? And he says, yes, that's fine. We'll do it then. I was like, okay. So I pack everything down because I had to do a fucking stream and then pack it up, set it all back up the next morning. It gets to 11, 11, 10, 11, 15. And he, I message him. I say, hey, you nearly here? And he goes, oh, I totally forgot. <laughs> and he said, can we do it tomorrow? And I said, no, we can't do it tomorrow. Well... Luckily, there'll be plenty more episodes of the GMAT <laughs> podcast for him to show up for. There's always more. We can always make it up in the future. So um, I said, no, we can't. No, he said, can we do it later that day? And I said, no. Like, it was just that there was a lot of stuff in that day. And I could, like, if he was going to be another five minutes, that'd be fine. But moving a few hours is just going to fuck, every- <gasps> fuck everything up. So I said, I'll just do a solo podcast. And it was another solo podcast. And I had the two cameras set up. Ellie was sitting here. Because I couldn't even be bothered setting it to one camera. And I just sat there. And you know what I did? I fucking unloaded on my family for <laughs> 40 minutes. The boy can fill some time. Yeah. For 40 minutes, I spoke about all that stuff we spoke about on the jazz cast. It hasn't come out yet, but there's a jazz cast that we edited. You just retold the same story. You still hadn't gotten through it emotionally. No. For you, when we did on the jazz cast, I did a way longer. <laughs> oh, yeah. But on the thing, I was just, I, yeah, I said all that stuff about New Year's and Christmas and my <laughs> fucking crackhead sister and my mum and me fighting and my dad. The greatest hit, she'll be doo wop crackhead sister. I bought a beep, wouldn't get out of the car. <laughs> and the <laughs> Keep an Ellie seatbelt clipped up. <laughs> Rob had his dog, but said that mine was too soft. Bada beep, bada boop, and mom was mad because my brother couldn't come see my dad. <laughs> you're really, you're a good listener. I am a fantastic listener, John. My crackhead sister Wait, what? tried to steal my dog. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and Rob hit my dog. <laughs> All right, enough. Um, so yeah, I, I just <laughs> I went fucking ham. But the problem was, I started the podcast by being like. By saying Aiden was supposed to be yesterday and I was supposed to be today. And I said, like, this is like the fifth time in a row that he's cancelled. And it was at that point the fifth time in a row. Yeah. And doing that and then going into ragging on my family, I was just like, not this good is just, vibes. It was not good vibes at all. <laughs> Anyone who was really paying attention would be like, this podcast is going to end soon. <laughs> yeah, I think that was the episode. I might release it. Fuck it. I might release it on Patreon. It's edited. It's sitting on my fucking computer. The death knell. I put it on Patreon. The GMAT death knell. <laughs> Um, but that was that I finished that podcast, uh, Beck finished work like an hour later or something. No, that was at 11 a.m. So it would have been that night. But that day was when I said to Beck, I think I need to, uh, really consider finishing this podcast up because it's mm. draining. It became really draining to, and, and you know what? That is another thing that's worth noting when we get into, at, there was a point in history there where we had, we'd finally landed on after you, uh, complain for long enough until they did something about it we finally landed on tuesday 3 30 or we had two times tuesday 3 30 and and thursday 10 a.m and we would basically just put those up in the chat and then everyone would vote for which one they could do and whichever one got the most people voting we do and then people miss out and that was a good patch of time that was the majority of the middle of the podcast where things were working and it was going well and then at some point 
I think all of our schedules, because back then it was just your schedule we really needed to focus on. Yours was the one that was getting. I still think that's the case. You reckon? Yeah. I mean, I mean, it's it's, but everyone else now also has schedules like yours. I still think that mine's the only one we should focus on, though. Oh yeah, I feel you, yeah. fucking prick. Um, so uh, now now it's uh, the thing we used to do at the start, where I'd be like, "What time's everyone free this week?" And you'd be like, "Tuesday at five. That's all I can do." And Ana'd be like, "I'm only free Thursday at two a.m." And then Becca'd be like. I am only free. I mean, I'm never free, but I uh, Ellie will be in there pissing on the carpet if anybody needs that. And I'd be like, well, now i got to sort out this fucking jigsaw. Yeah. This <laughs> fucking <laughs> trying to find it and be like, all right, I'm just going to do one with Ben this week, you know, or whatever it ends up being. And it's that that that's also a fucking pain in the ass. Mm. That was another reason for me being like, next time I do a podcast, it's got to be just like two of us. Either yeah. you and me, you or Aiden. I mean, me and Aiden, you, you and me, or me and Beck. Like, um, it's got to be just two of us, and then maybe bringing in a guest every now and again. But I can't do another podcast that's four people or even three people. What a fucking pain unless there. the channel finally blows up and we could just make it our job. That's the other thing. That's the sort of like oh, this channel blows up and we'll come back to it. Beep, it's got to be something where I mean, even Aiden yesterday was like. Whatever you're doing, better fucking succeed because I need you to hire me because <laughs> I'm fucking sick. <laughs> and I was like, I will do everything in my power to make everything I, I do keep succeed. keep working nine to five. I don't know I'm how afraid. much longer I can survive. I'll shoot you with nothing of it. So, uh, yeah. So, uh, so um, everyone's sort of on the same page now. Um, I think. I think we're all on the same page. We're all ready for it to just be done. Scratch. I mean, I'm sad. I'm re- like, I'm genuinely like. Yeah, you seem it. No, <laughs> I will be sad. Yeah, give a fuck. No, I'm trying. I'm, I'm in pod- I'm, I'm in podcast mode now, so I'm like, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not gonna be sad. Well, let's but just like, take a second, map. Oh, shut the fuck up, man. <laughs> there's this shit. Like, there's. It's been going for a long time, and it's. We have to get a new logo. That's annoying because I like that logo. I know. There's a lot of brainstorming you and I have to do. Oh, I know. That's the worst bit. We're gonna have to fucking start all the way from the start. Caring. Hmm? Matt, does that seem like me? And I don't want to like, I, I don't want to, like, this was good. We got to, we built as we went along. We had crap mics and we had slightly better mics and we had better mics than that. Then we got the road system and got all the good shit. And then we we set up the room. We set up another room. We finally ended up in this room. It felt comfy. We got the sign. We went to video podcast. Whatever we do next, I want to fucking hit the ground. Bang. I want to hit the ground running. I want to have a sign. I want to have a, a good logo. I got to hit up our boy Clyde, you know. Yeah, good luck. Um, uh, yeah, but we can we can triangulate. Yeah, put the pressure on. Um, yeah, there's a lot of stuff that needs to get done, and you and I need to actually like brainstorm to be like, hey, do you want to actually do this? Yeah, <laughs> or do you want to fucking throw it in the fucking can and just never podcast again? Which I know you'll never want to do because you are a broadcast addict. It's in my bones. You can't help yourself. I'm a born mic man, Matthew. You're, they were going to call you Michael, but then they thought that was too on the nose. I live to language. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Do we want to talk about our sort of general idea or just like... I'm sure we brought it up before. We have because it's been in the can for months. Which is All that, right. Uh, no, I'm just like... I'm. I, I, okay. All right. I said it. I said it on the... Uh, to this to the stream today. Said it four times. Um, yeah. uh, we want to review films. That's sort of the. I think. I think. Oh, we want to talk about film. Films. films, but I think we should open it up to games as well. And someone in the stream said uh, television shows. Did he shows? shows? Um, yeah. Media. Media. Media reviews. But I think the angle. Of, because I think that parlays our natural tendencies of you to love everything that's colourful, mm-hmm. and me to think everything is garbage and cynical nonsense. Mm-hmm. If it's just the I hate your favourite thing or what you love is garbage, the original thing. I, the original idea came from us talking about a quiet place on the podcast. Yeah, and it just that filled an hour. It just happened to be a week when it was just you and I. I think maybe Beck was there as well, but we talked about a quiet place. And it was very, very It was fun. explosive. It was. And I was like, oh, man, this would be a fun idea. And mm. then it wasn't straight away then that we came up with it, but we referred back to that many months later, being like, hey, we should do another podcast where we do films, talk about Is that how long it's been in the can? I remember weeks after we thought of it, we were going to go and see West Side Story. That was what we were thinking. Like, should we make that the first one? I was like, yes, because I know it's going to suck and yeah. I know you'll love it. Yeah. 
And we didn't manage to do it. No, no. Well, when did West Side Story come out? 1990. 60. 525,600 minutes ago. Story, new movie. That's a really good tangible. Yeah, thank you. Uh, I totally forgot about that. 2021, it came out on. Uh, was it that long? Fuck that. That wasn't that long ago. Yeah. I thought it was like mid last year. Oh, I totally forgot we're in 2023. We're in 2023 now. You know what was in the cinemas? What was in the cinemas? December 2021. Wow, over a year ago then. That we've had this idea. Fuck. It's Jesus Christ. I know. What happened to 2022? That's more fucking horseshit. If you asked me when we were going to go see West Side Story. I would have said in like November. I was there three months. Yeah. Easily. That's that's ridiculous. Yeah, that doesn't feel right. No. Should I look up Australia release? Maybe, yeah. Would it have been that different? West... Side story Australia release. Release. I want to say like August. Uh, 7th of June, 1962. <laughs> oh, wow. But it doesn't feel like we had the idea that long ago. Um, Australian trailer and release date for Steven Spielberg's West Side Story. Did Spielberg do that? Yeah. That's why you said at least it'll be a Spielberg. I might be able to get something out of it. Mm. <laughs> December 26th, 2021. It dropped in Australia. It would have been January. Lord. Would have been January for yeah. sure. We were talking about it. But still, that's that's a bang on a year. A year we've had this idea. Wow. And now we're finally, finally going to do it. Um, Probably. We're going to do it, Ben. We'll do some version of it. Because I can't fucking help myself. I need to do some podcast thing. If this is ending and we don't do something else, I'm going to come for you <laughs> in the night. When you're not there, I'm just oh, fuck. Uh, um, yeah, some idea of that. I hate what you love. So a catchy title. Yeah, I'll, I'll 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 blend it and see if I can come up with something, some snappy, snappy for it. Because you know? we've always talked about like like how this podcast is so broad. How it's the this podcast relies kind of on people liking GMAT stuff. You, or you have to know us in real life. If you don't already know us, there's no reason, there's no hook to turn it on and listen to it. Like if you go on YouTube and you and you go and you like, there's a new movie coming out and you like film reviews, you might click on someone, just a random person talking about a movie or talking about a topic. Let's see what they say. But you're not going to click on just a random podcast. No. Like I'm not going to click on a Come Town podcast because I know it's just the three. I like. I mean, I know I know Come Town are very popular, but Come if they Town. weren't popular, it's just three people talking shit, isn't it? Yeah, I don't know how they got popular. If I'm honest, <laughs> which is sort of our thing. It's like this isn't gonna, this isn't gonna grow, and we, we that's that's half the fun of it is watching the numbers go up. You know, um, I have no idea what the numbers are. Yeah, I mean, a lot of the fun of it was just doing it, but after doing 229 episodes now, it's it's time. It's time. So 230 is going to be the big. If we can organize a goodbye episode for next week, maybe. I mean, it's quite possible we might... Yeah, 230 is probably a good rate. Yeah, yeah, you're right, you're right. Except this is 228 because 220, the original 228 didn't get released. So 229 can be the jazz cast or the Matt smashes his family for 40 minutes. I, we'll probably just do another podcast maybe in between. and then. So what number it. did you say at the start of this one? 228. Okay. So we either do another podcast for 229 and try and be normal. It's so hard to just be normal and, and act like the podcast is cool and chill when we know it's ending. Yeah, I don't think we should just keep doing them. I think we just wait until we can get all together and do the last one as... 229. <sighs> 229? Is that a significant number anywhere? Uh, I could I could just... Re- I, did, I feel like we said stuff in the jazz cast that we don't want not behind a paywall. Because I remember thinking for 228, I was like, I could just release... Oh, no, 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 I didn't release it because I was like, it hasn't even hit the Patreon yet. So to release it straight away would be weird. Oh, yeah, because the Patreon kids... Gotta get the I Patreon goods... Maybe I'll just like re-release episode one. No, that's episode dumb. Episode one. That's dumb. That's really dumb. Is it? I mean, it's audio only. Yeah, Put I'll a just, photo of you as like an eight-year-old or something. Yeah. I'll see. I'll What's think baby about it. I'll think about it. I'll think about what we're going to do. Um, and you then, just do a little preamble of like, this is a window into the bus. The first one before the last one. And then 2.30, we'll, uh, we'll wrap this bitch up. <sighs> 
And then if I'm going with the original idea, we might do a couple little just like pilots for our new thing before we bang hit the ground running. When we review. We're going to do like a retrospective type. Are we gonna actually going to have clips to play and listen to? I have to? no idea. I don't know. We've done so many retrospective things. Have like, we? I've, yeah, we've done like three. Well, we did one, but I feel like- and We didn't they do it were that just, long ago. They were just bits that you got from, that you remembered that you got from like the last year or so. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what we would do for a retrospective at 2.30. Like what kind of things do we want to listen to? And last time we did the retrospective, didn't we all just like sit there quietly listening and it kind of took the air out of our tires? We were trying to do actual podcasting. Or was it fun? Oh, I don't fucking know. I can't remember. I don't think I was there for that. You were. You were 100% there. I yeah, did. not mentally though. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Honestly, I don't know. You were like, we got to do something big for 2.30. And I was like, I got no fucking idea what to do for 2.30. Did I say we had to? What? No, I said 200, didn't I? No, no. You For, for the final episode, you said we got to do something. Oh, yeah. We got to do something. I mean, this is the fucking final one. We're shutting this fucker down. I know, but I don't know what to do. Yeah. Like, what do we do? Do we Me do either. a live one? Yeah, I don't know. Just the fact that it's live because it's going to be recorded forever. The liveness doesn't carry on and hold up, I don't think. No. I think we should just do a regular podcast and, and not regular, but like do something special, but not do it live. What I should have said then was, I don't think we should do it live. <laughs> <laughs> and therein is the reason why we shouldn't do it live. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, well, this is another thing we got to brainstorm. We'll brainstorm shutting this fucker down. Mm-hmm. And then we'll start working on the new shit. Mm-hmm. Oh, the new shit, the good shit. The new shit, the yeah. The cool, yeah, hot yeah, shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. The fresh, the fresh business. The fresh shit. Yeah. Any stories you got from this week that aren't related to this? This has been the center of my world, Matthew. I know, I know. Story. Story. <laughs> we had a party. Did you? Yeah, we had a New Year's party, remember? Nope. When I say party, there were eight people in the room. Fuck yeah. But those people know how to party. We fucking went hard, hard. Yeah. It was fun. I remember at one point I was throwing my head into the esky. Oh, yeah. It's crazy how drunk and, and intoxicated I was. Towards the end of the night. Yeah. You yeah. went full esky head. Because I, I, I don't remember being that hung, that drunk, but I guess I was because I was throwing my head. And there's things I don't remember that I'm remembering now. I, I just forgot about. Yeah. I put, it was so hot. It was fucking hot. It was hot, but I tell you what, when I put my head in that esky and came up and let that cool Weren't water- Weren't so hot no more. <laughs> let that cool water run down my body. Ow. Trying to keep not getting hard right now. I uh, I cooled down heaps. And I was cool for the rest of the night. That's great, man. Well, the rest of the night was about 20 minutes, I think, from esky head. It wasn't. It was. Oh, really? Shit. We when, went- I was, when we were out the back and I tipped the esky out for you and you put your head into it? I didn't remember you being there. In my mind- it was like, you know that scene in The Simpsons where Homer re-remembers his night and oh, ooh, I put, a, I put a, um, <laughs> a fly in my... Yeah, that's what I yeah. remember, just sitting around with a bunch of weirdly drawn cartoons going, ooh, put my head in the bucket. Uh. <laughs> oh, Matt, you are the living end. That sort of business. Well, I was there. I mean, unless you did it before and then came back and like, oh, a bucket with ice. Maybe I'll put my head in it if no one has a problem with that. And I was like, <laughs> I didn't give a shit. And last time went really well, but you know what would help is if it was on an angle so yeah. all the ice and water gathered at the end. I moved yeah. the Coke bottles for you. Fuck, I'm a good friend. No, I moved them. I remember you asked me to move some shit. So I was there. You do remember being there then, I Matthew. I'm remembering ah. as I go. Yes, you put your head in the big ice bucket and it was very cold. And then we, um, at New Year's, um, uh, in, in, in hindsight, a terrible idea. In a post-COVID world, was passing around the bottle of Fireball and just seeing how many times we could get a shot in before New Year's when it was like the two-minute countdown. Yeah, it's passing. Everyone putting their lips on the same bottle, and then someone takes a drink. And goes, <coughs> and you're like, "This is a bad idea." But yeah. you know what? That Fireball was going down noise. Well, I avoided that. I just sucked the Fireball out of garbage mouth. What? Hmm? Did you? I yeah, it. yeah, I did, Matt. I That's watched what you happened. Drink it. I don't yeah. know. I don't know. I watched you drink. Don't lie. Don't I tell lies on the it. podcast. Well, it's because I remember you being like, oh. So I'm like, did he actually do something where he didn't have to drink it? And it took me a minute to realize you said, suck it out of Garbutt's mouth. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know what Garbutt said? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it nearly got to New Year's. <laughs> and you know, New Year's, you got to have a kiss. Is the thing. I don't know if that's a thing around the world, but you have a New Year's Yeah, kiss. yeah, I think that's a thing. <laughs> and he came up to me like a minute before New Year's and whispered in my ear, like, Big Daddy's got to eat or something. <laughs> like, Daddy's got to eat. <laughs> and I was like, no. 
<laughs> get away from me. Uh, that's funny. That's <laughs> um, funny. <laughs> and then we uh, we went inside and played music while we watched Air Crash. Air, like um, planes <laughs> land. Oh, we had on YouTube. We had planes landing. Yeah. In bad weather. Yeah, it was like a Fat Boy Slim concert. It was fucking sick. <laughs> while we played Fleetwood Mac's dreams and the Cranberries dreams and and probably Ed Sheeran's dreams. I don't know anything that had dreams in it. We were hitting yep. it. That was fun. That was really fun. I like playing music. Yeah, it goes alright, doesn't it? Yeah, especially, especially when you're drunk. Cause it doesn't <sighs> matter if you suck. And we don't. We fucking sound great. I wish we could record it so the next day we could listen back and be like, "Shit, you boy. Nah, it's uh, let's just let's just assume that we are fucking great. Just foyer, just beats on beats, 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 yeah. beats. What else? Uh, I don't really have any stories for you. I don't think. I and you know stuff happens during the week, and then I don't think to write it down, and then I forget that it happened. Nothing's really happened this week. I've been like, "Oh, guys, we might be moving house. That's a bit of pain in the ass." We. You know, come as podcasts coming to an end. That was a, another thing that's just been in my on my fucking mind. Um, uh, I came to your house to work out, and I fucking didn't want to. That was. Really? Did you not want to? Because <laughs> oh, you put in such a good effort. I, it's weird that I was not aware of that fact. I put in. You enough. didn't say anything beforehand that would let me know that you didn't want to be there. I put in enough effort. I'm gonna scroll back and find that message. <laughs> that's a funny message. I was um. Reading between the lines, I worked out that you didn't want to be there. <laughs> I did. I did my squats at like, uh, uh, like three quarters of the weight, and then I did bench. By the way, I benched my full sets, full weight, uh, not my PB. The one exercise that's basically like chocolate pudding. Yeah. Everyone fucking loves. I fucking love bench, and then I just skipped my rows, my barbell rows. I was like, no, I'm not doing that shit. There's three exercises. Yeah. So I did the whole workout. I did one and a half, basically, uh, all right? And I fucking really didn't want to go. So the fact that I did anything is a goddamn miracle. No, it's better than, yeah. Anything's <laughs> better than nothing. <laughs> we don't talk that much. Settle down. Is it you saying, like, it's like you're, I don't care. I'm going to do it either way. But are you going to be annoyed? It's like, no, nah, no. Nah, I started counting calories again today. So that, that's a win in my book. It was more like me being like, uh, like, you're like, how much of your schedule have you moved around for us to come to the gym? Are you going to be annoyed? No, but thank you for asking. Um, <laughs> and you're like, well, look, Beck's working when she's finished. I'll ask her if she says we'll go. Then we'll see. I think I and actually. And she said- finishes at seven, and then at <laughs> seven o two, I get a message. Fucking looks like we're fucking coming for fuck's sake. <laughs> <laughs> I said, I said early in the day, she gave me like the hint that she might not want to go to the gym that day, and I said right. if she comes to me and says, and you immediately went, oh yeah, cool, fuck yeah, yeah fuck yeah, soak that up. <laughs> if she comes to me at seven when she finishes work and says. I don't real. I'm 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 kind of. I don't know about the gym. I'm gonna ride that wave. Yeah. To fucking. Well, you look. You know, you got to look out for yourself. It's all about maintaining your energy. You don't want to burn yourself out. That's a real that burnout's it. real. You got to watch out for that. If I heard a hint, even a even a whisper of mm. not wanting to go, I would have grabbed that thread and pulled yeah. it till the jumper disappeared. Oh. <laughs> but unfortunately, I was like, so we go to the gym. She goes, yeah. Like, like obviously, and I was it's like, like "Fuck!" There's, there's no room in there. There's nothing. That is a solid brick house of opinion. She like, is going. Fuck! It looks like we're fucking coming for fuck's sake. <laughs> and then I walked in, and you were already laughing. Yeah. Ugh. Well, because you were swearing when you came in the house. <laughs> She's like, oh, "Hi." Like, that's normally not what I get. You're like, hello, what feeling fucking huge today? I'm gonna fucking get it or something <laughs> like that. And you strut in, and you start doing your warm ups. You're like, oh. I don't want to do it today. Uh. I was getting puffed out doing the warm ups. Mm. Yeah. Oh. Hey, but we can finally answer something now. Because Beck and I have this conversation every time we get in the car. And I'm like, I'm like, she's like, Ben told me to do this. I'm like, I'm pretty sure he would have told you to do this. And we can't quite land on it. And we keep forgetting to ask you. And which is because originally she just wanted to skip her warm ups altogether. And I was like, you need to warm up. You need to warm up to your weight. Yeah. And she goes, but if I don't warm up to, if I warm up to my weight, I can't do the weight because I've been lifting. And I'm like, that's just part of it. That's correct, right? You do need to have a warm up, even if it kind of tires you out before you get yeah, to the number. Yeah, absolutely. 100%. So, and I, so I started by being like, because she wanted to go straight to the, with the plates on. And I was like, you got to do a warm up. Just do the bar. And she was like, fine. She did the bar. But and that's what's wearing her out is because she's... Likely not injuring herself, but her she's doing her warm up as like eighty percent of her fucking maximum. And I didn't think about any other option. 
And then she said, well, I spoke to Ben and he said I should be doing the 10 plate. And I'm like, well, it, it, we have the same idea. Ben and I are saying the same thing, which is that you need to warm up. I just didn't think that about another option. And she's like, okay. And now she's going from the 10 kilo straight to her max weight. And I said, I feel like it should be 10 bar plates. And she said, no, Ben said 10 straight to max weight. What should Beck be doing? I think when we did it, because she asked me the same thing, it was like a 10 plate, then a 15 plate. You want to have like at least two warm-up sets. That's what I'm saying. That, well, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. I'm saying the same thing. I'm saying that we can't go from 10 to max weight. But I didn't think about 15. I just went 10 bar. The bar's too close to her working weight. She may as well just be working by okay, then. Okay, yeah. All right. So you should throw in a 15 there. So I'm still wrong, Ben. You fucked everything up. <sighs> Fucking motherfucker. All right, we'll do that next time. Okay. 10, 15, 22.5. Yeah. Well, she was getting up to 25. That's why I thought the bar, 20, 25. I thought it was like 10, 20, 25 would be all right. But see, so she should at least be doing two things before she gets to her weight. Well, yeah, and it depends on the reps as well. So she's doing six. So yeah, she could do like three with the bar. Okay. As a warm up. But you still want to have a couple of five sets to get the motor neurons going, all that shit, you know. I wish Brain I'd, business. I wish I'd said this before the thing we just spoke about before, because that was way funnier to end, <laughs> to end on. What were we talking about before? I don't know. I just laughed about so oh. I can't remember. Oh, you coming into the gym fucking kicking my dog and <laughs> I didn't kick shit your dog. over. I didn't kick your dog. <laughs> hey, did you came in, you kicked the dog, you spat in George's face, you slammed the door and I didn't, keyed I my car. I spat in her hair. There's a Whatever. Difference. She had a head down. I spat she has on, a hairy face. I spat, I spat on the top of her head and I said, fuck you. <laughs> and she said, why are you doing this? I said, because I have to do squats today. <laughs> yeah. And then she said, um, okay. But that got you pumped up to do three quarters of the workout. <laughs> I did. Yeah. Three quarters is pretty. Um, as that's Almost a, three quarters. It's No, I did way less than three quarters. <laughs> yeah. So thank you. I did. I did Pleasure uh, treasure. I did one point. Well, I did. All right. Goodbye, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, it's GMAT here, and don't forget, if you enjoyed that episode of the GMAT podcast and you want to hear more, we also have the podcast post show over at patreon.com forward slash the GMAT podcast. The post show is a shorter episode recorded directly after the main podcast where we wrap things up and talk about anything we didn't have time to talk about. $3 a month and cancel any time. We are a community supported podcast, so your support over there funds the show and makes it easy for us to keep doing what we love. If you want to support us, head over to patreon.com forward slash the GMAT podcast.